Look what I found. This is a uh, lemongrass that I bought at the supermarket. <laughs> and I put, you know, usually it doesn't, it comes just with the roots chopped off and everything and they, they cut the, the leaves. <laughs> And I put it to root in some water. And, um, my cat loves this stuff. I'm just letting her have a few nibbles before I go outside and plant it. But anyway, um, cats love this stuff. It's almost like catnip. They just love it. Look at her. Anyway, um, this is a very <clears throat> water, water-loving plant. It, it will suck up as, almost as much water as you give it. And, uh, they grow really vigorously. Um, in a few months, this is going to be a gigantic plant between the two of them. So anyway... I'm hoping that they will do well this year. Good morning. It's a nice, bright, sunny day out here. Uh, this is March the 17th. It's St. Patrick's Day. <clears throat> Traditionally, this would be the day when most people plant potatoes and sweet well, uh, English peas into the garden, like the official starting day. So, well, as you know, I've been working on this garden for a while. I already planted my sweet peas. And they seem to be, well, this isn't sweet peas. These are brassicas. These are the sweet peas. And they seem to be doing pretty well. And, uh, <clears throat> anyway, like I showed you earlier, this is my lemongrass. I just prepared a couple of pots. I think I'm going to put, you know, I'm definitely going to put some of this, uh, fertilizer in here. This is some Espoma organic fertilizer with mycorrhiza that I, uh, put into a mole parmesan cheese shaker container. It seems to be very easy to use to uh, apply just a little bit you know I just want to put a little bit each time um, <clears throat> I'm not a huge proponent of using fertilizer I like to um, use compost um, mostly I compost in place um, anyway what I'm doing here, put a little bit of uh, fertilizer in, working in a little bit, and uh, make a little hole. Stick the uh, lemongrass in there, and uh, before you know it, it's going to start growing like crazy. Lemongrass is also fairly hardy. Oops. Ah, see, this is what I wanted to show you. A lot of times, um, squirrels will plant these, um, black walnuts, like kamikaze, uh, ninja, <laughs> squirrel gardening. <laughs> we like to put these things into pots for whatever reason. Um, I guess, well, they, they usually forget all about them, but, um, I think I feel another one in there. Maybe not. Anyway, uh, <laughs> it's just amazing. Um, there it is. <laughs> anyway, you just have to make sure that, um, uh, when you're starting up your plants. If you have a black walnut tree nearby, you should definitely be looking out for these things because 
invariably and inevitably the black walnut is gonna germinate in your stuff and black walnuts very um uh, it exudes uh, some kind of a uh, chemical that inhibits root growth particularly so you won't see a lot of a lot of weeds underneath um, a black walnut tree because of that and uh, anyway you don't want to have that kind of thing um, inhibiting the root growth of your container plants or whatever wherever you may have them growing over here I have some um, it's like a salad mix I guess but right now I'm separating out the spinach it's very loose soil so it's just coming right out and I think I'm just gonna stick some of these little these little babies in with the lemongrass to kind of keep them company until the lemongrass starts to take over or take off anyway <laughs> take off take over um i'm just gonna make little holes in my fingers just poke them right in about two to three inches apart because these are just um they're for salad, they're like for uh, not microgreens but uh baby greens. So I'm just gonna let them get small leaves <coughs> and then um harvest them while they're still tender and young and delicious and use them as salads. Um you know, obviously, if you want to cook them, you can let them get bigger, or you can eat them as baby greens also, but they're probably more nutritious if you let them get bigger. All right, I'm going to do the last, the second part, and then show you everything when it's done. I decided to come over to my forestry garden. I have a little bit of extra energy today. Maybe not, but um, anyway, I wanted to... I'm going to do some work here while the, the ground is still soft. It rained last night and uh, the dead nettle is blooming. But I wanted to show you this business over here. This is uh, wild garlic. And um, let's see if I can dig one up. Dig one up. You'll see some nice saw. Uh, oh, well, usually there's some decent bulbs under there. Oh, not really. Anyway, this is good to show. Um, usually you'll see some little bulbs. There's a the main mother bulb there, I guess. Um, but if you allow these to stay for a while, if you allow them to stay till like, let's say, May or whatever, if you can't stand them in the garden that much longer, you do make some fairly sizable heads. I mean, not that big, but, you know, they're still good enough. I like to use the wild garlic in uh, roast pork, usually with pork dishes. I mean, they're not really tasty with uh, vegetables or they're good with meat, you know, beef, pork, you know, strong flavored meats for baking. Not so much like making salad dressing or anything like that. Anyway, there's a whole bunch of it all over the, the garden. There's one here. Oh, anyway, they're all over the place. They're all over the place. And, um, I don't know if you can see. But anyway, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. Meanwhile, I'm just going to start working on this dead nettle because it's driving me crazy. I'm not even here and I'm thinking about it. I'm having dreams about it. So let me work on this and see what, what I can get done today. Fickle day. 
It's been gloomy most of the time. When I came out here, it was kind of sunny, and I was actually tempted to, um, I see there's a little bit of blue sky. I was actually tempted to take off my jacket and just stand here in, uh, my t-shirt, but, um, it's been gloomy most of the time, and I actually felt some raindrops on me. And uh, ten minutes ago, I was about to pack it up. I was, I was ready to go, and then the sun came out. So I did a couple more things. I threw some um, manure down on the uh, garlic, and uh, there's this bed over here full of dead nettle, which I really should finish this up, but I don't know. I think it's going to rain for sure. Um, anyway, this is the, the main part. Maybe I'll come back tomorrow and try and get that done. But anyway, I got this whole bed done, and uh, I'm pretty happy about that. I threw all the dead nettle over here on this side. Um, this is where I'm going to put potatoes, and, um, hopefully the dead nettle will disintegrate before it's time to do that. This is a bed that had, um, I planted some shallots. There's a couple of them. They didn't really do very well. They're like supermarket, well, this one's doing okay. Supermarket shallots and... I don't know, I think I planted at least a dozen, but it only looks like six made it. Six, maybe seven. I don't know. And I had a bunch of garlic over here from Thailand. And I only see like two so far, two, three. Uh, probably they're not acclimated to our cold New Jersey weather, so I should have thought about that before I ordered them. Anyway, um... That's really it. I don't see anything. This is the bed that I planted the carrots and the beets and the parsnips. I don't see anything coming up yet. But it looks good. It looks nice and nice and clean. No weeds popping up yet. So anyway, in the meantime, I also have a bucket of uh, chicken, chicken weeds. Some nice dandelions and some, some wheat. And some other grass, I don't know what that is. I don't think that they like the um, the dead nettle too much. Some chickweed. Chickweed. Um, they, they seem to kind of like the uh, the Russian mugwort somewhat, but um, Russian artemisia, that is, mugwort. But um, I don't know if I'm going to bother with that too much. It's really not a lot anyway. But uh, anyway, there's a nice full bucket of chicken treats. They're going to enjoy those greens. Oh, I'm tired now. And I'm cold, so I'm going home now. Happy gardening. <laughs>